This is Royal 69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, the comic book that going to display, well, this is a uh, Elseworld one shot mini graphic novel. And it's called Superman at Earth's End. It's done by Tom Beach and Frank and Frank Gomez. Check out that cover. Pretty cool, huh? And the back cover. Okay. Uh, before I start, uh, this is my second. Yeah, because I divide the stack of comics in three in three little stacks. So this is my second video. So I will have one more video that will give you my thoughts and my review, and also will give you my three picks of the week, my three categories. So, I'm going to start with, oh, and this video is for David Lee. Now, David Lee, this one is for you. If you're not checking his channel, go and check it out. Just like that, David Lee. Uh, he's a comic book reader. He's a big fan of DC Comics. Well, that's why we say he's a fan of old comic books. And he do reviews every week. Now he's he's kind of cool about, you know, doing his comic book. He's kind of like, he sits, he, he sits on the couch, you know, real comfortable. And he just talk about, just give you the reviews about comics. If there's a comic that, there's a specific comic that he really likes, well, he tells you. If there's a comic that he don't, that he don't like at all, well, he just tell you. So, you know, his videos are pretty cool. I like it. I watch all... I like to watch all his all his videos. He's really a cool guy. Well, and the one I'm talking about is Catwoman issue 16. Well, David Lee, here it is. Well, what I have to say about Catwoman 16, well, you're not going to be disappointed. So this is the second part of the story arc of the Black Diamond Probability. What I have to say that what I think about this comic book is not a probability, it's reality. And the reality is that I didn't like it. Not a bit. Now, and you know, I read issue 15, it was okay. But when I started reading issue 16, it was well, like, okay, wait a minute, you know, the point of the story is that Catwoman has to break in into Argos. And after she break in, breaks in to Argos, she has to break in into the black room, where that black room has all the objects, black magic, demons, and all stuff, uh, artifacts. And you get to see uh, <laughs> a talking, walking arm. Just the arm, forget the body. The rest of the body is nowhere to be found. Just a, just a talking, walking arm. Which it talks too much. Then we have a, a skeleton, which it talks the language of, of death. And then Catwoman, she's trying to steal a diamond. And that diamond happens to, to be the black diamond. Which the black diamond is, what it is, is kind of like, it's a portable. Portable, pocket side, black hole. That's what it is. You can have your own black hole in your pocket. That's it. So while she's trying to get that, uh, there's some demons. She starts finding the demons. The demons she get possessed by some demons, and her ears starting to. To kind of get pointy that she end up looking like Spock. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So, that's nothing more I can say. I didn't like it at all. At all. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to wait for the next arc after this one. And I will buy the first part of the next arc 
I will get the comic book. I don't know, it can be issue 17 or 18 or 19, I don't know. Once the arc is finished, then I will buy the first comic or the new arc and see how it goes. If it's gonna be as bad as this one, then I will gonna drop Catwoman. And believe me, I'm a big fan of Catwoman. I'm a big fan of Catwoman. Oh yeah. But it's going downhill. So that's a three out of five. Next one is Justice League 16. And this one is for fat stack of comics. I forgot his real name. I think it's Nat. But his channel goes by Fat Stack of Comics. He does review with his, I believe his, his wife. I think so. If not, excuse me. Uh, you know, he always has like a small, before the video, he has like a small introduction. Always something different, always something funny. And he always say that I'm going to get my, or I got my Baton Cutters, I think that's how we say it. And I think his name is Matt, I think it's, it is Matt? I don't remember his real name, but he goes by Fat Stack of Comics. Check out his, his channel. And like I say, he does reviews he show you the stack of comics that he gets every week and he review him with his with his wife or girlfriend and both of them are are cool to watch so fat stack comics this one is for you this is a five out of five excellent story now I have to say this new artist uh base he might not have uh, he might not have the. Mm, how do I say? I never seen his work before. He might not have his uh, popularity of Jim Lee, maybe. But I, I will put this guy next to Jim Lee any day, because believe me, I would say I would dare to say that I like his style more. I like more his work. On Justice League than Jim Lee. And for me to say that, hey, this guy's good. This guy is good. And the color is forget. He's just awesome. Just awesome. And story wise, excellent. And to the story, we're well, gonna give you a little bit about the stories that well I don't wanna spoil too much. Uh, I would say that <coughs> Uh, in issue 15, we saw the end that Aquaman had Batman by the throat. So the whole thing is that Aquaman's brother wants to destroy the city. Justice League wants to stop his brother. So Aquaman is on the middle trying to try his brother not to kill people and Aquaman is trying not trying Justice League not to fight his brother. So Aquaman is of the middle. So everybody wants to fight everybody except Aquaman. So Aquaman, he doesn't know where to be. He wants to be with the humans or he wants to be with the Atlanteans. Because the Atlanteans don't like him because he's not a full breed Atlantean. And the humans don't like Aquaman because he's not a... Uh, Full blood human, half man, half fish. So, so Aquaman, he's a very predicament. So, but I like the end of it. The end of it was real nice. The end of it, uh, what can I say? I don't want to spoil it. I would say, I don't know if, if what happens on the on issue sixteen, it will happen on issue seventeen. Because I would love to. I would love to see it. Maybe it's opening. Oh, and also on, on issue 16, they mentioned uh -huh, a pretty cool team that I used to be. Not that much, but it was a cool comic book back in the 90s. And it was called The Metal Man. 
Ha! They mention it on that book. Metal Man. Yes. Oh yeah. So, they say that the Metal Man project was discontinued. So, I don't know. So, that was kind of like a hit that maybe... That maybe... Uh, Jeff Jones is he's gonna write a mini series about the Metal Man. That would be cool. I would like to see that. I was an, I was not a big fan of Metal Man, but it was fun to read. I didn't read it that much, but the little bit that I read, I really enjoy. So we got a hint there. Easter egg, I guess some of, some people call it Metal Man. Uh, so let's see what happens. So. Justice League 16, that's a 5 out of 5. Excellent story. Batwoman issue 16. It's not much to say about this comic book, but just one thing. Excellent story. I really like it. I really like it. And that's a 4 point... No, that's a 5 out of 5. Because I really like it. I really like it. Real, real, real good. But it's the same continuation with the same storyline with Batwoman and Wonder Woman. So, yeah. And the last one is the Red Hood and the Outlaws. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. Just awesome. Look at that. Well, what can I say about Red Hood and the Outlaws? Well, I have to say that issue 15 was really good. Issue 16 was so so. I'm not going to say that I didn't like it because I like it. Just not like it enough. It was okay story. It was okay. Maybe, I mean, we get to see the Teen Titans here. Also, the, the good part was, there was a good part here that... No, that was on issue 15, but kind of like, like here that makes you believe whether Joker really knows or he doesn't know that we know that everybody doesn't know that you think that you know that I don't know because he knows so makes you wonder <laughs> it makes you more it makes you wonder so otherwise it was a okay story no B. So this one is a uh, 3.75, and I will give it a uh, and I will give it that 0.75 because of the cover. Otherwise, it will be a three. Well, guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Till next time.